Hello, and we're back playing Eternal Darkness as our grandfather. I forget his name, actually. Edward. Edward, Edward Rivers. As Edward Rivers. And we're going to get ready to do battle with lots of things in the house, unfortunately. Like this lady here. Now you're not in good health anymore. No, I don't actually have... <laughs> oh. She just knocked me out. I don't actually have a lot of health. So it does this meanwhile thing. Mm. Can I not finish it? I was kind of expecting a bone thief to pop out, but I suppose it was that creature that did it. I think it's called a vampire. Uh, half a key. <laughs> yeah, it's like a puzzle, I suppose. I think that was her uh, disintegrating. <sighs> Before you go any further, you might want to enchant your weapon. Sure. Our save is all the way down the bottom. We've picked up lots since then. That's bloody magic, this guy, as well. Also, enchanted elephant gun. Oh, yes. <laughs> We've only got two spells left. I don't know what they are, but I don't want to ruin it. Luckily, Edward has quite the pool of magic as well for someone who's not into the supernatural. I think we heard someone getting iced there. Yes, he was up in the master bedroom, which I presume means that's where the key will be. Quite an interesting mechanic as well. Whoa! Oh, he ran right past us. Quite an interesting mechanic as well, that it tells you, uh, that you, doesn't tell you, that you've been through the mansion so many times that you now recognise the rooms. Yeah. These people can really punch you. Can they? I wouldn't let them. Slowly gonna end up killing everyone in my house. I was hoping it would give me another part of the key. I don't think it does. I think you've got to track down the monster now. Or oh, have you? Maybe you do get the other part of the key actually. I can't remember. It's the fun of playing it, I suppose. Mm. Well, for now, we'll just follow on as it's indicating. And besides, the thing is here actually. But no, I can't actually do anything with it. And besides, you've only got so many servants to get through, you'll get there eventually. <laughs> this is true in a grim sort of way. How oh, can I actually save him? Looks like you can. Now do you feel horribly guilty about all those ones you didn't save? Well, I couldn't save that first one. It was a cutscene. <laughs> oh, so he's had to return down there to gain magic, I presume? Or this, power? Yeah, it's like recharging, because you, you defeated him, you made him go invisible and indistinct. Grateful for saving my life. That was a token of thanks. Thanks. Token. So where's the other key? come back out the basement yet. Oh, that's locked. I can't just use the half of the key, I take it. Nah. Apparently missing. I don't know, should I research the house? Um, I'm not sure. I expected it to maybe be one of these jars, but I can't actually examine it. Doesn't look like it, does it now? No. I'll we'll also make sure we're trying to talk to people. 
Yeah, I find it's interesting that half of the sort of household has been attacked and the other half is... Hasn't even noticed anything's happened. Oh! Hang on, she reacted to that. Does that mean that... They can see him? Is that because you've got revealing... This is really bizarre that you're just hunting it down. Mmm, it is a bit. Dear God. Right, it's in that sort of office spare room. I'll save you, servant. Oh, careful that you don't hit the servant with the sword. Oh my god, he's had to run away again. Got down there quick, didn't he? Mm. More arrow. <laughs> Uh, that's not what I wanted. It might be some of these jars, but... You keep saying that, but I'm not convinced. There's nothing to do with this servant's room. I don't think so, anyway. We'll get there eventually. Something that we've painfully, obviously missed. Where did we find it when we were Alex? It was in the little clock at the very beginning. No, that was the upstairs key. Hmm. I'm really not sure. Time, I suspect we won't. Oh, don't say that. It's a bit more of a trek. Oops, I hit the servant. Ah. What happens if you hit the servant then? I'm not sure. Oh, attack her. Oh, no. Oh, nuts. Maybe run out the room? I guess, but I'm going very slowly. It's not much of a run, really. There's also the chance that he's just going to follow me. There is, but I think we're better off outside the room than inside, if you see what I mean. I also have no magic. I'm more worried that our uh, servants are getting feasted upon. Unfortunately, I cannot do anything about that. Why don't you cast Magical Pool? Do I have to be blue for that, or what? I don't know. I don't have the required magic for that either. Well, make sure it's the next spell you cast. Sorry about this, it's been a bit awkward. Right, now. No? Oh. So what does that do then? Well, my magic's going up a bit quicker. I thought he was going to attack you for a second yeah. there. Whenever I see 
a serpent advance on you quickly. I'm always worried it's going to attack you. It does feel a bit like that, yeah. Well, that helped a bit. You could also really do with a reveal invisible. So if you cast Magical Pool purple, would that just slowly restore everything? You know, I don't know. That would be cool. That was nice of it to wait for you. <laughs> yes. And not slaughter your staff. When it's desperation to escape, it drops another half of the key. And it is a vampire. It goes again. So we can mix these two together and acquire the whole key. But I suspect we're out of time, so we'll go and defeat that monster next time. Bye-bye.